Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the Unresolved Problem segment tonight, Freedom of Speech versus Responsible Conduct. Campus TV program at the University of Connecticut called I Did Your Mother has offended some students with his sexual content and because student fees pay for it. Here's a sample. Let's ask uh, Amanda and uh, Liz. We, me and Joe had a wild idea. This is working? We think maybe uh, me and Joe, we... we Take one of you each and uh, throw you over our laps and have a spanking contest. 15, 15 seconds to see who can get uh, the other ones behind the wrist. Yes, and an instant, uh, and an instant handprint. Everything is up to Amanda. <laughs> Joining us now from Hartford is the co-host of the program, Peter Petro, and Daniel Drew, the editor of the Daily Campus, the school student newspaper. Mr. Petro, this is basically low Ren Howard Stern you're doing, right? I mean, that's what this is. Yeah, it's, uh, it's basically nothing new. I mean, it's not like we're breaking any barriers here. It's stuff that's been done on national television. And uh, we're just, it's what entertains us, so it's what we like to do. All right, so you're, you're doing gross-out sexual humor, Opie and Anthony, uh, you know, they're legion uh, on it. And you're doing it, though, on the student's dime. See, that's where the trouble comes in. So if I think that you're a bunch of uh, hooligans, I don't really want to pay for you guys, you know, doing your hobby on my money. Am I wrong? Well, I can see where people are coming from with that, but uh, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of things that go on at the school that I don't agree with. Like what? Uh, I wouldn't know. I mean, there's, ve there's pretty much everything that goes on at <laughs> the school. I mean, well, wait a minute. You got to get specific here, Mr. Petro. If you're paying money for to the school and the schools do something that is offending you, you have a right to say, hey, um, I need to talk to you about this. See, that's where I, I, I'm not violating your freedom of speech, and you guys will probably get jobs in, uh, you know, Waterbury, Connecticut, doing what you do after you graduate, because there's a market for this kind of stuff. But if I'm paying for it, you know, maybe I don't want to see you guys using my money to gross people out. Well, I mean, I understand that, and I mean, the majority of people enjoy it, but there are a, a handful of people that do oppose the show. I mean, as they say they're paying for it. I mean. Yeah, maybe so they a, have a point. Yeah, maybe so a the, nickel. The, the thing to do is not to take any student money and raise the money on your own, and then everybody has to shut up. All right, now, um, we had a very interesting time trying to get some of the people who don't like you, Mr. Petro, yeah. on the program. Uh, there were about 100, I guess, that demonstrated against this. We couldn't get anybody. Mr. Drew, where are these feminists who are outraged and the professors who are outraged? Why aren't they on the factor tonight? I'm not sure. We've had a hard time getting them to uh, talk to the newspaper. Really? They've, yeah, they've been reluctant to give quotes to some of our reporters. Um, the news editor, Jennifer Hoyt, interviewed a number of them on Wednesday at a rally, and a lot of them didn't want to give their names. A lot of them didn't want to attribute their quotes. One of our staff writers, Courtney Hickson, actually went and interviewed a bunch of them last night. And a lot of them didn't want to give their names either. So. But they, isn't there a reason? Are you guys asking them why they don't want to step up and be counted if they're so outraged and this is so important to them? I haven't personally asked anybody. I mean, I wrote my column last Friday, and we've been responding to it from there. We've been taking letters to the editor, printing What them. did your column say? My column basically said that uh, Professor D'Oliva, the one who filed the original complaint by writing a letter to the editor, uh, my column basically said that her logic and her argument was full of flaws. What was the flaw in her argument? Well, I think she was suggesting censorship as an alternative to censorship. I think yeah, it was... I think it was... I'm go sorry. Ahead. Go ahead. I think it was a pretty hypocritical argument. I mean, you have these people here pre preaching tolerance, diversity, acceptance, but diversity isn't only about skin color or gender or sexual, uh, sexual yeah, but orientation. Mr. Drew, we don't have to accept gross out humor that diminishes and uh, denigrates women and gays and everybody else if we're paying for it, do we? Is that part of the deal? Well, of course you don't have to accept it. But if you don't want to accept it, don't turn it on. That's, that's but my But I'm paying for it. You're paying for it, but if you stop paying for it, given the system, given the way the university works, then what happens is once it's cut off, once students are allowed to cut it off because they don't like the content, then you're really getting into freedom of speech issues and you're violating um, Mr. Pietro's First Amendment All rights right. by what, cutting that. Let me, let me give you both, uh, you, Mr. Pietro, and Mr. Drew, I both you want. What if I go to the University of Connecticut at stores, okay, and I open up a German Bund club? All right, and I want student funds to march around with a Nazi armband. But I'm nonviolent, okay? I'm not offending anybody. I just want to dress up in a Third Reich outfit. Do you think the school should finance that? Um, I mean, the school pretty much will finance anything. If uh, <laughs> anyone that goes to that school knows that there's a lot of various, I mean, there's gun, a gun club, and I'm sure there's a, n a number of people on the campus that oppose this gun club. But they get funding for it. I mean, you can, if you go to the school and you ask them, 
for funding, you want to create a group that there's pretty much no limit. I mean, you might be taken to the extreme a little bit, dressing up in the Nazi outfits. But again, I mean, there are crazy people who like the Nazis and want to run around in their dopey uniforms. Mr. And Drew, should the school fund that club? Well, I think if you want to run around in a Nazi uniform, you can go to a history, you know, one of those uh, old historical shops and buy a Nazi no, uniform. But should the school should the fund school that kind of an offensive club? Well, I'll, I guess I'll be pretty blunt. If it depends on what they're going to end up doing with it. If they're going to end up preaching hatred of Jewish people or, you know, recounting the glory, the quote, glory days of the Holocaust in their mind, then I would say no, because then they're advocating violence. But if people want to just join and well it would depend on the benefit to the students i guess that's i guess that's the real issue there but there um, is no benefit to the students for a club then they like shouldn't that. then they shouldn't then they shouldn't support it or but what's the benefit of the students for having a spanking club and uh, you know making fun of uh, various sexual deals i mean look i did your mother come on i mean that's offensive in itself is it well, not here's the thing uh, i mean it's just that we don't we, we make fun of everybody on the show if you if any half these people that pro, are protesting don't even haven't even tuned into the show once probably and if they watch they would notice that more often than not we're just making fun of each other we got a kid that is on the show his name's Samson and he's a straight white kid and pretty much a large chunk of the show is calling up and making fun of him and half the other time right, me Mr. and Pedro, our co look, co host I, I, are making fun of each sure, other. Sure, and, and I know that's what you do. Um, but the Nazis hate everybody, okay? They, they hate everybody. They can say, look, we don't just hate the Jews, we hate the Asians, the Gypsies, the Catholic, we hate everybody. It's the same kind of, here, here's my problem with this. If the university is gonna give you guys money to put on a program, and you put on a program that's mocking people's sexuality or you know, encouraging people to do lesbian activity in front of you, or whatever it is, then I'm saying to myself, if there's no money involved, then you have the right to do that. But if there is money involved, then you have to basically um, be sensitive to people who are going to be offended by that, because why should they pay for your activity? And Mr. Drew, as a, as a newspaper editor, I, I mean, you got to understand that point of view, do you not? Of course I understand it. But given, I mean, if you look back to the Supreme Court Southworth decision a few years ago, they protected um, student fees from offensive content based on um, the educational value that the programs offer and have. I All mean, right, now let me stop you. That's very, very good, Mr. Drew. You have a future in journalism, by the way. Mr. Petro, <laughs> well, you're going to get the last job, question. But... What is the educational benefit of I Did Your Mother? Uh, probably none at all. We, no. uh, we are not aiming for any <laughs> educational benefits. It's Boom, couple, there goes the Supreme Court decision. I don't think right so. up. I don't. It's a couple of kids, a couple of college kids that were bored. And, I mean, right. UCTV is there for anybody. We encourage the people that oppose us to come down and have their own show and make fun of us. It doesn't bother. You know, freedom of speech, right, they yeah, have their turn to Mr. talk Mr. O'Reilly, can I just make one quick point? Real quick. I think the educational value in UCTV is that students can come down and learn how to put together a television program. Right. They can come down and, well, explain and participate that to Mr. in the process. Explain that to Mr. Petro on your ride back to stores. All and right. uh, we appreciate you guys stepping up because the pinheads who don't like you wouldn't. And we always yeah. like, we like the macho guys anyway. Our Thanks pleasure. A lot. Thanks All for right. having us. And coming next, a very successful pro football coach.